Hey guys, happy Saturday. At least it is for me. I'm not sure when I'm going to upload this, but um, yeah, that's weird. Okay, I'm in my car. It is a lovely, cool 88 today. So for us, that is very cool. We've been in the hundreds, so that's awesome. Um, but it is a sunny day, so no more rain. I don't know till when. But anyway, I'm out doing a couple chores. So I'm in front of Ulta, um, which I normally don't like to shop at, but because this rosacea is getting so bad that um, my makeup isn't covering anything. I want to go back to the makeup I used before, which I got from Ulta. Uh, luckily, I have an Ulta credit card. So, yes, I know financially you shouldn't do this, but I'm going to go in there and put it on my charge card. And hopefully by the time that charge comes due, I will be working. So it will all be okay. <laughs> anyway, I brought the old one with me. Um, I think I did. I hope I did. I swear I did. I did. So I have my old one, uh, my Mac. Got my Timu purse. Um, and so we're going to head in here and see if I can get this again. And hopefully it will have better coverage than the Timu makeup that I'm using currently. So I'll get back to you once I'm out of there and hopefully I get what I want. Okay, guys. See you in a minute. Okay. Well, I just got out of Ulta and they discontinued. Don't pay attention to my nails. I haven't had a chance to do them. Um, they discontinued the one I was using. So they gave me one that they said was what they, you know, brought in instead of. So I got that. So the Studio Radiance Foundation from MAC. Yes, it's pricey, but, you know, I don't use that much of it. Especially right now because I don't go anywhere much. And other than doing videos with you guys, I'll put it on. Uh, and then I needed to try something. I have that nail rose rosacea. That's the face. Uh, nail psoriasis. It's like I'm falling apart. <laughs> so it feels. But um, let me put that window down all the way. Um, but anyway, so it's happening to a few of my nails, and I'm I'm using cuticle oil, and that's seeming to help it a little, or maybe it's just in my mind. But anyway, this nail. I don't know if you've ever had this feeling, but if I hit it, it actually feels like it wants to come off. I know it's really gross. I mean, it's not loose or anything. It just kind of feels that way. And the psoriasis is way, way down on it. So I wanted to get something else that was kind of good for you, but would also help my nail polish stay on longer. So I picked up something for that. Now, if you have a Ulta credit card, I didn't know this. So I just tried to use it and she's like, oh, have you not used your card in a while? And I said, yeah, it's been a while. And she said, has it been like more than six months? And I said, yeah, it might have been. She said, oh, well, they close your account at six months if you don't use it. So I did not know that. Um, but she hurried up and made me fill out all the little information again. I kind of fibbed a little on my current income. Um, but anyway, um, and then I filled it all out and then it just re-energized the card. So if you have an Ulta, at least go in every, you know, before six months is up and buy something, even something little on your card so that you keep it open. So she gave me all the stuff as if I was a brand new um, card person. And I got all these free gifts. So that's kind of cool. So this one is Exuviance. Let me see what this is. It's okay. So it's Exuviance. You see that? Um, Exuviance. Exfoliate and renew for smoother skin. Exfoliating and conditioning foot balm. Efficacious at home petty treatment that rejuvenates dry, cracked heels. Um, and then they gave me a triple microderm abrasion face polish, three in one at home micro, microderm abrasion. Say that three times fast. Uh, treatment, exfoliate skin for a gorgeous, silky softness and skin glimmer. Uh, glow, sorry. Smooth skin and refines the appearance of pores. Skin will appear brighter and more even in tone. So anyway, they gave little sample sizes, one of each of those. So that'd be kind of cool. I probably should do the foot one before I go on the cruise and I'm barefoot anywhere. Uh, not barefoot, but you know, in my foot flops. Uh, this little packet came with it. So we'll look at this. And I love it too when you're a member, you don't have, to have a charge card, but when you're a member of Ulta, that part's free. Um, on your birthday, they give you free... Uh, no, was it Ulta? I think it's Ulta. Let me know below. If it's Ulta, that gives you free 
items also. I think they do. And then also the other one, the one that's in JCPenney, Sephora. I like being a member of that because they give you free birthday goodies. So this one is called Savage, Sauvage, Savage, Eau de Parfum Dior. Oh, wow. Oh, I could, if I like it, I could try that out on my, on my trip. Expensive perfume. And I only have to bring, oh, it's reminding me that in 15 minutes, I have another chore I have to do. So it came in this little thing. It's hard to see on here when you're in front of me. Okay. Uh, with a little tiny sample perfume. So that'd be great to take on my trip. And then we have confidence in a cream. It is transforming moisturizing super cream for all skin types. Anti-aging armor. Interesting. So anyway, that came in this little, little package. And last but not least, and I can reuse this bag for my jewelry sales. Um, this is It Cosmetics Hello Results Wrinkle Reduction Daily Retinol Serum Serum in Cream. So there we go with that one. So that's kind of cool. I just my credit card hadn't been canceled and then had to be renewed. I wouldn't have got all the little free goodies. So that's kind of cool. And now I am headed, that's why my watch just went off. Um, I am headed over to Costco um, before my trip. That dude is running. Oh my gosh, he just jumped down like eight st oh, to be young again. Just running at top speed. That little dude's quick. And he just jumped off of the top of like six stairs and just went from the top to the bottom and you know his knees didn't give out and he's still going he is he is running i don't know where he's going but he's in a hurry um to be young but anyway um i'm going to costco because they were the cheapest i could find for no insurance um because i want to get the flu shot before i go on my trip so i'm all you know my covid vaccines are up to date and all that kind of crud they don't test they don't make you take a test anymore pre-cruise and they don't um, check your vaccination card anymore but some of your island stops may so if you have your card bring it with just in case I always say better to have it than to not but um, the flu one I got the flu years ago and that h1n1 was going around I got it so bad I didn't leave my bed for a week um, after it took at that time, my parents were living with me for a little bit, and my daughter was still home. And uh, it took them about three days before they finally knocked on the door and asked if I was okay and needed anything. That was kind of disheartening. But <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, so I don't want to get that again. It was horrific. So I get the flu shot every year, and I was working in a hospital, so you just got it for free. You had to take it. Um, that's how I got all my COVID vaccines uh, was because I was working in a hospital and you had to have them. So it wasn't even a debate in my mind that I just had to have it. Um, and then I've always had insurance. So the shot's been free. And when I checked at CVS, they said you had to get it to like the Minute Clinic and it could be 50 bucks and up, which is no thank you. Um, and then I'm a member of Costco, which I got a free year membership because I was doing that Uber Eats driving and I racked up so many points or whatever it is doing that in a month that I got a free year's membership to Costco. So I think it's only $20 it's going to cost me. So I have an appointment in uh, 12 minutes and it's about five minutes away. Of course, if you shop at Costco on a Saturday, you know that it's about 10 minutes to find a parking spot. <laughs> so, so I'm going to get on the move over there. Uh, wish me luck that it doesn't cause me any flu-like symptoms, but that's why I'm doing it on a Saturday. So I have tomorrow to recover. I know I don't work at the moment, but I try and use my work days as, you know, filling out apps and looking for jobs and all that kind of stuff. So if I get a little something from the flu shot, I'm hoping to recover for Monday so I can do another week's worth of hard job searching before I'm gone for a week. So I will talk to you after my shot. Hope it doesn't hurt my arm too much. I'm a big baby when it comes to shots, but whatever. At least they're better than blood tests. Nobody can ever find my veins. They have hidden. I had uh, food poisoning when we were little. Me, 
um, my second brother, well, there was only three of us at the time, there's four now, but there was three of us, and um, me and the brother, and then the other brother was only a year old, we all got um, salmonella food poisoning, and we were so dehydrated that we got hospitalized, and all of us, they put us in the same room, and you had to do blood tests constantly to see if it was gone, and even after I was released, I had to keep coming back every I don't know, in my mind it was every day, I don't remember what it was, but it was a lot. Um, and then, so, my veins kind of went away. Not only do you not see them anywhere, and it doesn't matter what my weight is at, you don't see them, um, but they also move. So, yeah, blood tests are a fun time. So, anyway, I'm going to start driving, and I want to do it safely, so I'm going to turn you all off for a moment, and I will get back to you at Costco. Bye. Oh my gosh, I made it. So I'm in the like four from the entrance in a parking spot. Hallelujah. So I'm going to go into Costco, get my shot. I've already rolled my windows up. So whew, it's a little warm. There's my visor. That helps a little. But uh, yeah, even 88 is a little warm. The Texas sun is very intense. So I'm going to go in now and get my shot and then come back out. I'm going to look at that. I also have my protein powder here. I think they used to have it and it was a lot less expensive than Amazon, but we'll find out. So uh, anyway, here I go. So I'm going to flip. I don't want to spin you too hard. I hate when people do that, but there I am. Costco, see how close I am? It's a miracle. <laughs> okay, guys, wish me luck. Bye. Oh my goodness, I think I need one of those. Aren't those the cutest? It's so cool to tool around in that. I mean, that is the best part of golfing, you know, driving a golf cart. <laughs> oh my God, they have Christmas trees out. That's disgusting. Okay, so I'm headed to the pharmacy. Okay, the heavy. $300, $279 animated mummy. Look at this thing. I'm gonna walk by it. Okay, that chore is done. Let me make sure my radio doesn't come on. Go away, radio. Roll down the windows. Get some air in this place. Okay, well. I did what I needed to do, and I also got my protein powder. This is the one I use, um, and it's cheaper here than on Amazon, um, I believe. At least it was the last time, and, and I needed it because I didn't realize I was down to like the last scoop for tomorrow, so I got it, uh, but I will double check when I get home and make sure that that was a good price, but uh, yeah, here's my, uh, my little boo-boo. Um, from my flu shot and she didn't even hurt me so yay and it was it was $19.99 so if you go to Costco um I don't even know if you have to be a member or not he said um show me your card and then I was like oh my card and he's like oh, I could just bypass it if you want so I don't know for sure you might want to check if that's something you need done and you don't have insurance because I know it's um get out of here so I have a backup cam so I'm not running anybody over um, so anyway, um, I don't know, like I said, if you have to be a member and CVS, uh, had on their website that it was 50, I think it was 50 or 50 something for the flu shot. Yeah, no, thank you. So I got it here. So I know that you can also get inexpensive, um, prescriptions and stuff at Costco and you do not have to be a member so at the door when they ask to see your card uh, there's two ways you can bypass that um, one is when I was an uber driver I would have to make pickups here at Costco and I would just walk in and say I'm just doing an uber pickup and the lady said oh okay go ahead in so that's one way uh, but I you don't have to be at least you didn't ever used to so I don't think it's changed again call if you want to be sure but um, I, you don't have to be a member to use their pharmacy so that's an option for you especially if you have a more commoner kind of um, prescription and you want to get it less expensive I believe you can go on the website though and check the prices so I probably would do that before I ran over there I know because I tried to do it for my um, glaucoma eye drops the ones that work really really well for me um, but without a prescription um, the minimum on that little teeny tiny minuscule bottle of eye drops 
like I said, that doesn't even last a month um, without um, without insurance. It's usually about three hundred and something dollars. So I forgot on Friday, but I'm going to go on Monday and go to my doctor and beg for some samples of that drug because they usually have them because it's just so horrendously expensive. So hopefully they'll have that and it'll get me through for a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I have priced it there and it, it wasn't any better so on that one. But if you have more, you know, normal drugs, um, my drug is called Rac... Rac... Oh my God, it just... I want to say Rakuten, and that's that <laughs> money-saving app. It's Rakuten, and um, it still is um, brand name, so there's no generic for it. There's no nothing comparable to it, and it works the best for my eyes. So, unfortunately, i got to keep using it, um, and I can't get it cheaper anywhere. I've tried those prescription cards. I've tried everything, and it just... Yeah, it's just, I'm just lucky that way. Um, and so now I'm going to just head into Dollar Tree just to see if there's anything new there because I'm kind of liking being out of the house for the moment. <laughs> Couldn't think of anything else to do. Uh, my parents had a party they had to go to today, so we didn't go to the movies. Uh, I don't know about tomorrow or not. And then um, we leave next week, so... Um, and I know they, they have a wedding to go to next week on um, Saturday before we leave. So, I w you know, we won't be going to the movies again. So this is like my only time out on the weekend. So I'm taking advantage of it uh, by doing fun, exciting things like, you know, getting myself stabbed at Costco and um, going to Dollar Tree, uh, renewing a credit card at Ulta, you know, fun stuff like that. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. But anyway, um, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I didn't even ask you how you're doing. I hope your Saturday went well and um, you did something a little more fun than I am. There's a pet smart or pet something right here um, next to the Dollar Tree and I love coming here because I love to see people bringing their dogs in and everything. I'm just, I'm dog crazy. So uh, if I see a dog, it's going to get pet if at all possible. <laughs> so... I like just looking at them. They just bring such joy to my life. They're just such loving creatures. And um, I mean, I never would be, but some people are just so evil to them and they're still loving animals. It just blows my mind. But I'm here, so I'm going to go in. If I see anything exciting, I'll take a clip of it. I probably won't. They don't stock this one very much. It's not a real great one. But um, it keeps me out of the house for another, you know, 10, 20 minutes. So <laughs> I do think I might stop at all these on the way. I was out of, um, was I out of ham for my sandwiches? And then um, I just wanted to get some more blueberries for Bella and myself. But I will either do that today or I'll, I'll make an excuse to run out. You're coming awful close to me. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I'll make an excuse tomorrow to run out if, if I don't. So, um, and this top, it's kind of see-through, but I don't care. Uh, it's this beautiful woman down on the bottom in pink, a pink dress, and she's in the water. But the last time I wore this on my cruise, it was like sucking onto my stomach. And now look, there's room. Okay. Oh, they bought a bunch of balloons. The little child was happy. So I'm going to go into Dollar Tree now. Talk to you later. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. Well, I went to Dollar Tree and I didn't see anything exciting. I didn't think I would. So then I ran over here to Aldi's and I just got a couple little things I needed. Nothing exciting. Sharp cheddar cheese. Um, got some ham for my sandwiches. I like this light string cheese. You get a whole bunch in here. What do you get in here? Then they tell you 12. You get 12 of them in here. And then I got some red grapes, seedless red seedless grapes. Those are my favorites. Actually, I wanted the cotton candy uh, grapes. I don't know if you've ever had them. And I actually bought some at Kroger um, the other day. I just took a little package of it, but they were all, they all tasted like rotten, nasty. So. I don't know if I missed the season or the season isn't yet, but yeah, I love those and they only come out for a small amount of time. And then I'm being bad tonight and um, I'm eating some pork egg rolls for dinner and I have um, sweet and sour sauce at my house. 
I wanted blueberries because um, Bella and I only have uh, another one and a half containers full and that's really not going to last us very long because her and I eat those. So I like them in my... Um, got a sorry. I like them in this um, flax seed and something kind of oatmeal I buy here at Aldi's and um, I put walnuts in there, a little tiny bit of maple syrup, um, a little vanilla, um, one thing of stevia, and then I put blueberries and pecans and that's really good. So I'll have that instead of like a dinner sometimes or I'll have it for breakfast, whatever. And then um, I put blueberries in Bella's, Bella's bowl for her because they're really good for animals just like they're really good for us. So I got all that. Um, so I couldn't get blueberries and the, um, they didn't even have um, the, boy my brain is just leaving me. What's the really good for you stuff? Organic. I had to buy the organic one time. I was like, I don't want to pay this, but that's the only place I could find them. But they didn't even have that. So I didn't have to make that choice. So, um, yeah, so now I'm just on my way home. Bella will be excited. So that was my um, exciting, exciting trip out today. <laughs> um, Alta, my shot at Costco, got my protein powder, uh, tried Dollar Tree, nothing good there. And then um, I went to Aldi's, got a couple things that I needed. I was pretty well stocked and then I realized I didn't have those couple things. So got those as long as I was right here. And then now I'm headed home, enjoying this beautiful weather. It's just, oh, it's just gorgeous. The sun is now behind some clouds. They don't look like uh, rain clouds. They just look like clouds. So I don't know if we're supposed to get any rain or not. The grass on our walk this morning was a little wet, so it might have rained last night and I missed it. You know, it's not asleep. So <laughs> normally i oh, my phone just dropped. I'm normally a light sleeper, but you know, sometimes I don't hear the rain if it's not like a thunderstorm or something. But, um, you know, Bella, she's losing her hearing, so she didn't hear none. So uh, they fixed the gate to my community and... Uh, Caution. Road with restricted access. And um, my dad was too funny when they came to get me the other day. He called me and he's like, what's your gate code? And I said, oh my gosh, they fixed the gate? And he's like, yeah. So oh, crud, I don't have the code. So um, he was funny though. He said somebody pulled up behind, no, coming out. Somebody was coming out and kind of pointed at the gate to him and then the gate was opening and he said, I think I just had to pull my car up. And I said, Dad, that wouldn't be a very good security thing. Not that they're real great security anyway, because you know, you can climb a fence. But um, I said, it wouldn't be good security if somebody just had to pull up to the gate and it opened. So I said, she probably did her clicker and then told you go ahead and go on in, which also isn't great security, but you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, he was all thrilled, so he, he didn't quite believe me, but yeah. So I figured out what the code was, and I found my clicker. I haven't used it. It's been broken forever, so I haven't had to use it. And um, so we got that fixed, um, and that's about it. I'm going to check my mail, and then go home to my Bella, feed her. There's a speed bump. Oh, yeah, they made it too large. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go feed him. Bella, if she ate, she didn't eat her breakfast at all. I don't know what is up with my pup. So um, when she walks, she's all excited and happy and running around. So I think she's feeling okay. But um, she didn't eat. So, and she's normally a little piggy. As you know, she eats her bowls. Uh, but anyway, so she didn't do that. So I was just wondering what's going on with her. But so I'm gonna check my mailbox, go home see my Bella and just chill for the rest of the evening and um, maybe I'll upload this video I don't know and then uh, tomorrow like I said what did I say I was gonna do tomorrow I was gonna go to all these but I just did that so tomorrow oh tomorrow I'm hoping that I um, remember to um, start the crafting of the cabin door decorations because I got to get that uh, taken care of key to my mailbox. I gotta get that taken care of quickly. Um, get that ready. 
and then I'll do a video on the outfits I'm bringing, things I'm bringing with to uh, on the cruise because I'll have to, at the end of the week, I'm, I don't like to pack really early. I don't want a whole bunch of wrinkled clothes, but I have that to do. I have some try on, a try on video to do for you. So I've got a list, I've got quite a list of things I have to do. Oh, I have to get my car um, inspected, oil change, and a sticker because I'm way overdue. And I don't want to get stopped on the way down to Galveston. So, oh, and I have to book the parking. I haven't booked the parking yet. We got the hotel. My son had a friend who works in a hotel and got us a really cheap rate. So that's awesome uh, down in Galveston because that's my best advice to you. Go the day before, no matter where you are cruising out of, go the day before just in case there's traffic or if you're taking a flight, if there's, you know, a, a plane delay or whatever. You don't want to miss your ship and you don't get your money back and it's... You don't want to do that. So always go the day before, at least. And that's what we're doing. We're going Sunday morning, and then we actually get on the ship Monday morning. So, okay, I got to get going on that cabin stuff and my videos for you. So I will see you later. Hope you have an amazing weekend so far. If I don't upload it till later, hope you had a great weekend. <laughs> hope you did something fun for yourself, even if it was going to the stupid old Dollar Tree and stuff. It was getting out of the house. It was fun. Just saying hi to people and talking to the cashiers and stuff. So it was good. So do something good for yourself. And I will see you all later. Bye, guys.